I pause my music probably a pop. Oh, I didn't pause my music. I'm sorry. Damn, like, why do I keep hearing something? Let me pause the music before we came back in. It's fine. Alright, so. Chose out the deserters. I don't think it's going to be the perfect ending. But I think morally it may have been the right decision. At least because, you know. Spacer's choice is awful, and I really do not think the boss was going to be one of those like, oh, we can totally figure this out together bullshit. All in all, I think the uh, the best decision that could have been made was the one we made. The cons there was no right answer, I don't think. Because if we chose to get rid of the... What's it called? The deserters, they would have suffered. And let's be real, Edgewater kind of sucks. So, I'm not exactly, uh, an active quest. What was the inactive quest? Maxes of the general. Oh! Forgot all about that. So wait, where's the um Max is the journal with passed down Edgewater. You mark the location on your map. Oops. Forgot all about that quest. I did say I'd go look for it, so yeah, I guess we should go do that. The only way I could could see this being different for the whole choice thing is if um, we could have talked to both sides more and gotten both of them to talk, talk, been like, hey. You both see the problem with you, what you guys are doing. Why don't you guys find a way to not so much work it out, but. Got it. Inside voices. If Reed was more willing to like not be such a fucking corporate stooge. Things might have been a bit better to work with. Job. Also, it's a little bad, but I'm offering to take Pavati away from the city, regardless of how this goes. So, like... Her wanting to save the city is it's great and all, but it's like, you have a chance to leave. You don't have to stay here. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, that's fair for everyone else. It's not. It sucks. Because we can't take the entire city with us. But in the same token, like, you know... I find I must disagree with you or theories about the Earth's directorate place in the colonial system. 
Sadly, as much as I appreciate the board and the new frontier they've opened up for us, I believe Halcyon and the other colonies on the rim of the galaxy would fall pieces or war amongst themselves if Earth Directorate wasn't around to regulate trade and settle disputes. Do you think the corporations would accept the mandated in in uh, inclusion of an Earth Minister if they had choice in the matter? Bureaucrats discussing bureaucracy and bullshit. Collector's letter. I just got a letter today. Com corporate ordered me to relocate to Edgewater Cannery, effective immediately. It's a shame. I was really looking forward to running my own gift shop, community center, selling rare memorabilia. But scripture tells us that all things happen for a reason. Work fortifies the spirit and all. As my book collection, I can't bear to part with it. Don't want these books mo moldering some contraband locker, so I stash them away in a cave by the river. Well, that's interesting. I think that's the other problem is that, like, in this critique of capitalism, you got to realize that, like, no one is really good. And a lot of them are probably not worth saving. If only just because, like, they they don't know that they they're in a situation that's bad. So when you try to help them, they fight back. It's like, I can't help you if you fight me. On Any person would agree with that. Like, it, you can't save someone who doesn't want to be saved. So there is a suckiness to this whole, like, Edgewater is pretty fun. The best we can do, I guess, is provide them a little bit of comfort in their in their end, and hope that maybe they make the right choice by example. Was our choice the perfect one? No, not even by a long shot. When the collector had abandoned his home, he hid the banned books in a small cave along with some other contraband. Travel to the cave and retrieve it. So yeah, it really just comes down to, like, I can't save you. I can only hopefully inspire you to save yourselves. sucks because, well, you know, you never know how far that'll go. If at all, anywhere. Job. See what now I want to know is what were they doing out here? This isn't exactly like a, uh, hey, let's all hang out here kind of place. Ow. At least he booby-trapped his uh, stash, I guess. You're going to make a um, hidden stash. Yeah, I guess it would be smart to uh, booby-trap it. Weapon parts. I do my best.
Let's get back out there. And bring the book back to the vicar. Okay, quest-wise, how are we doing? Okay, so yeah, we just gotta head back to town. Okay. And deal with the consequences of our, of our actions. What's the worst that could happen? Besides everything. Alright. Here goes nothing. I wonder if we can get what's his name to skip town. It'll just be like, yo, get the fuck out of here. Because then we can convince the deserters to come back. And be like, yo. Excuse me. Which quest am I like following at the moment? Okay, I'm following the. I wasn't sure if I was heading which way, cause the uh, yeah, just I just wasn't sure. Town's not gonna be happy. But, you know. All the lights in town went out. Since then, I've had wild-eyed workers begging my guidance. I'm surprised you would go along with this action, Ms. Holcomb. I'm not sure what the right and wrong of it is, sir. But leaving the deserters with neither walls nor lights would have left them to the mercy of marauders. Let's hope walls alone are sufficient, then. These people are sick and overworked. Things had to change. Oh, inarguably. This town was a pustule on the ass of the architect. Uh, metaphorically speaking. You took it upon yourself to decide the fate of strangers. I don't know whether that's confidence or arrogance. Either way, I'm fascinated. I got your book, by the way. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this... French? I can't fucking read French. <laughs> it's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. You didn't want the book to keep others from reading it, you just wanted it for yourself. Well, uh, yes. But I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. You don't exactly sound so religious now. At least you still have your mission work here to keep your to give your life a little meaningful purpose. <laughs> this has to be some kind of cosmic retribution. Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. What's a Philosophist? Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the Philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. A vicar searching for a banned book sets a bad example, doesn't it? The story of my life. 
Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worst idea to share my thoughts with a superior. And that's how I ended up assigned prison duty, where I was fool enough to let an inmate bend my ear with stories of an original Bokonu journal. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. I wouldn't mind a ship hand. Certainly. I already gave you most of my money, but I can offer you free spiritual counseling, and I'd be happy to watch your back. I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Duly noted. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Shocking. All that part of your vicar training? Well, understanding computers is, though I admit I took it further than most. And I was quite the 32nd back during my penitentiary term. <laughs> Left many an opponent bleeding in the prison yard. Are you even a vicar? You're sounding very not vicarly right now. Of course. I'm a vicar who is dedicated to his calling. More dedicated than any other you'll find in this colony. I joined the OSI to help decipher the grand plan. But instead, I ended up the vicar in a prison due to ignorance and politics. Then I came here. Satisfied? Yeah, I mean, you know, let's go. Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Miss Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery and to leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship, Captain, whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. Duly noted. All the lights are down. Where are we headed? I'll go talk to your boss. Deal with all that comes with that. I don't get the feeling it's going to be a warm reception. Oh, look! What are we supposed to do now? Exercise patience and contemplate the spirit. All right, Reed, where the fuck are you? You want to know what gets my bile churning? Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? It's not personal. That's to teach a lesson. Is that right? I'm dying to hear this. Please, educate me. You're all slaves of space's choice. I'm liberating you. Um. But no, Adelaide has the right idea. Got to make you see that. Liberating. Edgewater is my home. The only home I've ever had. I put down roots here. Gave decades of my life to this place. I never asked to be liberated. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. What's going to happen to Edgewater? Edgewater's dead. Our cannery's dead. Adelaide's deserters are never coming back. Space's choice will shut us down before long. Some of us will die of illness by then. Some will move on. Some will starve. And as for me, 
I will tender my resignation, whereupon I shall be processed and then duly imprisoned for gross incompetence. I'm sorry about all this. Apologies won't give us our lives back, but for what it's worth, I am sorry too. I'm leaving. Uh, dialogue. Leadership. Tech. Stealth. Uh, we'll put some melee. We have not done a lot of melee. And then, um, add another dialogue. Um, what's this? 50 companion kill. Ooh. Yes. You and I have got nothing to say. Try that again. Didn't expect that to like kick me in the face that hard. Manti pillar. That's a terrifying creature. Okay, so I'm um, gonna go with. And I do this, put that to the third, whoops. Put that to 30. It's stealth, tech, leadership. Uh, do, do, and we'll do one defense. Actually, no, we'll do one dialogue. You know what? We, we keep t getting hurt, so we're going to just give ourselves a uh, bit of health. Okay, keep him quiet. What? Good job. Again, I'm sorry, Pavati, but like... These... Spacer's choice is the, is the worst, and we just cannot... let this continue. so hell-bent on what they were doing to everyone here things could have been different kind of curious what's in his room Can we go to his room
I'm not gonna stop her. Like, she clearly has to work some things out. By that, I mean, like, you know, she she's gonna, you know, figure her own shit out. We'll be there to make sure she doesn't, you know, get hurt doing it. Gotti, what are you doing? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Terraforming is still a young science for humans, and results have been unpredictable, particularly the effects of something. So we just took it, we just gotta head out. Okay. See, I don't know if we can actually get to Reed's office now. Also, I didn't shoot him, so I wonder who did. Okay, what's the next thing on the quest? Turn to the ship, okay. We can avoid fighting the civilians, we will. Only because they didn't ask for all this. Not the life they want, but they will have to. I'm not saying that they have to figure it out for themselves, but. They can't rely on the cannery. They can't rely on Reed. It's for the best, they just, you know. Hopefully, Adelaide will help them. I used to skip rocks in the river to. So. Constable Reyes ticketed me for unlicensed terraforming. Yeah, see, I'm just doing you a favor. She don't know how to skip rocks her own self. Again, just hearing that alone is like, I'm doing you a favor. Let's go. Just, just that mindset of like, oh, kids skipping rocks. That's unlicensed terraforming. What? Ow. I wonder if those two uh, cops we found earlier are still here. Oh, 
Probably not. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine. Belonging to a proper crew. Edgewater won't last another season without power, but... That don't change the fact that I'm indentured to Spacer's Choice. Company expects me back at my post. Nothing's keeping you from doing the same. I have imagined it, but... Until you came along, I never thought I had the choice. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But... Can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Yeah. Pick a cabin, it's yours. Yes! I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain? I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. Let's go. The excitable one is ready to go. Well, I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. You do that. Captain, I have detected that the town of Edgewater is now without power. I appreciate you doing your part to hasten their demise. What can I do for you, Captain? That's a little, uh, I have the power regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Let's hope Our we don't have another. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. Thank you, Ada. Be back. Again, I just like how the ship gives me major serenity vibes. Let's plug her in. Take it to anywhere. Entire cosmos to fly. Whole new lease on life and an entire space capitalism to dismantle. Where do we start? What can I do for you, Captain? Alright, uh, I'm installed the power reg regulator. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. Good. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Get so. Get the hell out of here. Against all odds, the unreliable takes flight. <clears throat> so what about the dude who unfroze us? Is he going to be, like, pissed that we just pretty much bailed on him? Or are we picking him? Oh, we're not picking him up. Kind of hoping we don't pick him up. I don't know. Just, just, just I, don't give a, I don't have a good vibe from him. Bad vibe, bad vibe. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Great. Been waiting to hear from him. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Get to the point, Phineas. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. 
Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Okay. Why do I need a nav key? Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon. Terraformed badly. And almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kalkelly. All right. Um, let's just just act curious. What's stopping me from just leaving Halcyon altogether? Without a skip drive, good luck. You'll be dead before you make it to the nearest star. Look, I admire your optimism, but the sad truth is you're stuck here. You, me, and the rest of this colony. We're all skating precariously around the edge of oblivion together. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place. And we can start by reviving the hope. Okay, uh, how do I know I can trust Gladys? Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. All right. I don't like the idea of working with a criminal. Uh, can I land somewhere outside Stellar Bay? In theory, I suppose you could land your ship in Cascadia. And in theory, I suppose you might survive the experience. Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive creatures more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia, and I'm reasonably certain I tested your brain for incipient signs of insanity. Trust me, talk to Gladys Cult Kelly. Fine. Fine. Go we'll talk to her. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design, cutting-edge technology, years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. I'll put it to good use. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Thank you, Ada. Go to the captain's quarters really quick because uh, I want to see this supposed shroud. Is it time for your regular daily period of unconsciousness? <laughs> Holographic shroud projects a disguise on you and your companions that gives you access to restricted areas provided you have the correct ID cartridge for that area. Ooh. Nice. Okay, that's cool. Did we really just keep the dude's fucking hat as like a trophy? M messages for Alex Hawthorne. Oh boy. Um, unread messages. Oh, I forgot to mention in my previous message, silly me, I'm mailing you a copy of my favorite serial, The Space Adventures of Singularity Steel. It's about a dashing space pirate with a heart of, well, steel. It's not exactly board approved, so don't you go showing it around to your spacer buddies. I hope it'll amuse you while you're adventuring. 
Any similarities with certain someone are entirely intentional. Um, Shrinkway? Note to self, remember th this later, no better. Ada, remind me weekly to check this log until I tell you to stop. Yes, I mean continually, no Ada, not if I'm dead. Why would you even ask me that? Back to my point, I saw in actuality, with my own two eyes, a sublimely powerful weapon in Wells' lab. I'm just sitting there. The taking. If the gray hair were to look away or forget about it, maybe. I had asked a smidgen more nicely. He called it the shrink ray. Okay. Shrink ray in Wells' lab. Interesting. Last time I got sloshed, I mean I was imbibing. At the last hopes on the groundbreaker, look, Udam was really free with the drinks, so... Or I shamelessly but subtly eavesdropped on two Mardets yammering about mad scientist some years back. Claimed he'd made a huge discovery that would change the fate of the colony. Da -ba -ba -ba. Why, why, why won't Wells just give the shrink ray to me? Oh my god, oh, this stupid shrink ray, fuck. Wow. Why are Phineas's science weapon a weapon on the groundbreaker? Okay. Captain's quarters are interesting, I'll give it that much. 10 point. Did we level up again? Oh shit, fuck. Okay. Um. Boop. 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 And. Uh, boop. How'd I pick him? Didn't have a, didn't have a system, just, you know. Time dilation location hints. You have unlocked location hit if wait. Location hit effects for tactical time dilation. Hitting enemies in different locations during TD T yeah. Time dilation. Names or cripples the body parts. Try different locations. Ooh, okay. Nice. Companion ability one, companion two ability. Ooh, okay. Duly noted. Codex got from it. Burp. Nope. Uh, okay. What's this? Chef's hat. You know what? You're wearing the chef's hat for a while. <laughs> More base health, threat generated. Uh, bonus support hack, increase your hack skill. Ooh, okay. No, we'll give him. We'll, we'll give him more health. Yes. Okay. Why? Avadi doesn't have anything to worry about, so we're good. Cool. How are we doing? What the fuck? No response. The auto mechanical unit, a serial number etched, chase this letter Sam. Okay, guess I can't talk to you. That's depressing. No idea if these are even like mine, mine, but like. Dress and take what I can. Modern steel wrench and you. Book heavily dodged and doodled. Okay. Full of modifi modified tools and unique mechanical usages. Digging around. He's duly noted. Is that a wrench? First wrench dad ever gave me. She's been a friend ever since. Pavati. Oh, this is, oh, this is her room. Stern older man with warm eyes. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so where's, where's the vicar's room? I said it before, but like just, just looking at this room and the way the rest of the ship is set up, you can't tell me this isn't like a... I don't want to say better redesign, but a redesign of the Serenity. And it's pretty cool. I like it. It's just one of those like, hmm, I see.